Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, it is going to be another character creation tutorial. And today we're going to be creating Agent 47 from Hitman. Now, some of you might know Hitman from the movies or, more popularly, the games. When I was a kid, man, Hitman was the game to play. It was fucking amazing. Um, it dwindled out a little bit as I got older. Maybe the games got shitter. Or maybe I just got a little bit older and my taste changed. Um, either way, Hitman is a classic. It is amazing. Some of the films have been a bit hit and miss as well, but still good movies. But anyway, let's crack on. At the moment, you can see I have Clay Morrow standing there from the Sons of Anarchy. He was my last character creation way back in June last year. So I did slack a little bit on this um, on this series, to be honest. So uh, I'm going to try and get back into it. I'm going to see how this video goes once it's uploaded. Um, see what sort of um, feedback I have on it. How many views, all that sort of stuff. See how popular it gets. If it becomes a popular video, uh, maybe like a popular series, I'm going to carry on doing them. Do them a little bit more frequent and not be so fucking slack <laughs> at creating characters. Because I do enjoy creating characters, man. Because at the moment, I'm just sort of like just creating cars and doing car reviews on GTA. And I want to try and switch it up a little bit um, and try and get back into creating the characters. Now, in this video, we're going to be going through everything. It's going to be heritage, um, features, and all that sort of stuff, not just an outfit. Now, just before I carry on, you've got to understand that this person, this character isn't going to look identical because there's a limited amount of creation that we can do here. We can basically choose the, the parents and a few features. That's about it. So it is going to be limited, but I'm going to try my best. And like I said, we're going to be creating Agent 47 from Hitman. So we're going to start in the heritage. I did have a little look before I started this video. Um, so I wasn't, wasn't sort of like scanning through all the parents to try and match someone. And the best one that I found was Claude. Um, remember this guy way back from GTA 3 so yeah Claude was probably the best male to have for this character in my opinion the the, the mother isn't gonna matter because I'm having the resemblance and skin tone all the way over to the father's side so uh, the, the mum doesn't really matter too much um, well it doesn't matter at all because you as you can see it's not changing anything um, so yeah, at the mo for this I'm just going to go for Olivia and Claude for the for the parents. So next we're going to go into the features. The reason I chose Claude is because he has a really strong jawline, and uh, that he's got that fucking crazy frown, <laughs> you know. And Hitman, looking at the pictures, I'm, and I'm basing this on the on Hitman from the 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 game, right? Not the films. So when you look at Hitman, hang on, let's go back to custom again. What's going on there? Oh, so you can choose. You haven't actually got to move anything. It can be customized. Okay. All right. Ah, there. So, yeah, like I was saying, the Hitman Agent 47 from the games, he has like a crazy frown and um, a really strong jawline. So that's why I chose Claude for this. Um, so just trying to sort out his eyebrows. We don't want him too far down like that. So we want... Can we spin him? We can spin him. Right, so we want him to... Not his eyebrows to be too far right? I want them to be a little bit flatter. So maybe that in the middle. Middle-ish. So we're just off the middle. But you can see where the dot is anyway. So if you just match the dots up, you should be sweet. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go with for the brows. His eyes are quite wide. So we are going to open them up a little bit. Not all the way. Probably in the middle of the second to last box. So then we're going to go over to the nose. And as you can see, we can choose up, down, wide, narrow. Um, it's kind of in the, I don't know actually, it's a little bit wider than usual, and it's down. So he, he's got quite a long nose, and it's quite wide also, so we're going to go there for the nose. For the nose profile, what we got? Is it moving out? Oh yeah, it's moving in and out. We want it, yeah, we want it about there for, for the length, curved and crooked. Oh shit, no, we don't want that. We want it curved a little bit, so we want to go down probably probably to about there. That looks good. So next we've got the nose tip. Um, so we don't want the tip up, we want it to be kind of straight. And it's definitely not broken, it's a dead straight nose. <laughs> so we want tip down just underneath the middle. For the cheekbones, he's got some strong ass cheekbones, so we want them up and in. No, we don't. Up and. Yeah, up and in just like that so then we move over to the cheeks at the moment he is puffed out but we need them all gone up and shit like that yeah man looks sweet then we've got the lips 
he's got thin lips so we're going to leave it like that the jaw we've got a really strong jaw so it is wide but it's not rounded it is it's more in this sort of area so yeah we're gonna go with that one finishing profile we're gonna have it out a little bit more and up so it's a little bit shorter than it was originally and I think that looks pretty cool like that and last but not least, we've got the chin shape, and I think exactly where it is now is spot on. So yeah, we're going to leave it just there. So next, we're going to go on to the appearance. This is where you can change the hair, eyebrows, facial hair, that sort of thing. So at the moment, we've got a hair, and we want it completely bald. I don't think we can have it. Can we have it completely bald? I don't think we can. Wow. That's um, shit. I forgot about that. I suppose it's because I've never actually wanted to have my character bald before. I've never noticed. So, um, because of that, we are just going to have to go close shave. How strange is that, that there's not actually a bald option for this character? Fucking weird as hell. But yeah, close shave is probably the closest you're going to get to that one. For the eyebrows, he does have quite thick eyebrows. Uh, I need to change the colour of these. So I'm going to go colour 23 for the eyebrows. And I think I'm going to go with... You know, like I said, quite a bushy eyebrow, but it needs to look angry too. Yeah, so for the eyebrows, I'm going to go with these bushel ones. The facial hair, obviously, he doesn't have any facial hair, so you want to find the clean shaven option for that. So then we go on to the skin aging. You want to get this distinguished option. For the skin complexion, I don't think we're going to have anything for that. Um, oh, you can change your opacity, which is pretty cool. Yeah, actually, we're going to go rosy cheeks, but the opacity you want kind of in between... I'd say it's about 80%. There's no moles or freckles, no skin damage. Eye colour, we're going to keep with what we've got, and that is ocean blue. Makeup is none, lipstick none. So that's that done for that. Uh, the apparel, I don't think we're going to get exactly what we need in this um, window, so we're going to save that. We're actually going to jump into GTA and change him there. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're in the clothes store, we can change the actual attire of this character. And we're going to start with the trousers. And we're going to go with some suit pants. We want, obviously, just black regular fit trousers. And these are the ones. They're just called black pants. So we're going to purchase them for $845, which is pretty good, man, considering all the other fucking expensive shit we've got in this game now. And then we're going to go over to the tops. We want a suit jacket, do we? Yes, we do. We're going to start with a suit jacket. We want the one that's open. That one looks pretty sweet, so we're going to go with a black sports coat. And then after the jacket, we're going to go into the category which is called business shirts. And we're going to go and grab this white shirt for $405, which is fucking cheap again. Then we're going to go over to the shoes. Fuck off, Lester, you prick. No one cares. We're going to go to the smart shoes, just there. And we're going to purchase some black Oxfords, I think they're called. And there they are, all black Oxfords. Sweet as a nut. Not sure how much they cost because I've already purchased them once before. And then next, we're going to go over to the clothing which is the accessories, and we're going to get a tie. We need a red tie. A red skinny tie too, not a big fat thing like that. So that was a fat tie. We need a red skinny tie. Hopefully we can get one. And we can. There we go. We've got the red skinny tie for $135. Then we want to go to the gloves, and we're going to purchase some long-fingered gloves. And then you like them. There we go. We've got the black driving gloves, man. They look fucking awesome. And we're going to purchase them. And I think that's it, man. That is it. For Agent 47. Let's quickly go into this. We can see exactly what he looks like. Holy shit, man. I'm really impressed with that, guys. I think he looks really good. Um, obviously, there's a few different pieces, bits and pieces. If you really wanted to change it, you could give him a fat tie. If you really wanted to, you can give him full um, black leather gloves. If you wanted to, you could change his shoes. If you wanted to, if you didn't really like the all black Oxfords. But everything that I've put together here, I actually think looks really, really good. Um, so yeah, this is my returning video to the character creations tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give me a two sweet. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.